We also have a special guest on the line. It's Greetart from New Jersey. What? Hello. Andre. Hello. Uh, Andre, why aren't you here? Uh, I, I'm, I'm saving lives and little children and dogs. <laughs> I actually found a cat, and uh, I saw it swimming. And I said, oh, wow, that other dog that needs more help, I'm going to give him more time. So I got rid of the cat. I saved the dog. And guess what the name of the cat was, Ben? What was the name of the cat? It was, it was Cat. <laughs> Catty. It was Catty. <laughs> Why do you hate cats? Dude, they make me die. They make you die? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Andre is super allergic to cats. Hives. <laughs> Man, that's, uh, that's too bad because Kitty is the greatest pet of all time. <laughs> So what's going on in New Jersey, man? I know you went home to help your family with some cleanup. Tell us about uh, Hurricane Sandy. So I got here, and uh, the first day when I wake up, um, it starts snowing. And it snowed uh, pretty badly, but then it cleared up pretty fast. So that was kind of nice. But um, Oh, 14 inches? Is that right? 14 inches. Uh, but it, it cleared up. Like Right now it's fine. Um, there's a, been a couple of... Um, mistreated incidents though uh, of course you're going to have that with disasters but apparently like people from shelters were moved to um tents and then of course the northeastern came or this 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 storm just came and it completely destroyed them um but otherwise i mean like i know i'm telling terrible stories right now but <laughs> uh you know we're just we're just cleaning up here i was actually cleaning up uh like the the house a little bit um there's just been debris from uh from the the waters and the silt the, it's like a muddy silt very black and terrible odor it, it kind of smells like um god like a, a pet store you know that that very powerful aroma that that you get when you go into a pet store it smells like that inside our garage the aroma just... of a pet store <laughs> yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah, Andre, uh, is this a picture taken right after you, yeah, that's you after uh, was, like, dug up the ocean? Yeah, what, <laughs> is, that the, uh, is that the brown goo you were talking about all over your legs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, man. It's like all over my hands, all over my feet, all over my, my uh, knees. It was like really, really bad. And, and remember, it's like 40 degrees outside, so it is pretty cold. But of course, I'm in bare feet, Ben, so... Cool. I, I I think it's hilarious that in snowy New Jersey you still refuse, <laughs> still refuse to wear you, you shoes. You refuse to wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Some form of uh, covering noise down. Let's uh, let's change up the topic a little bit. Uh, hey Andre, the last game for Huangson is tonight against Vibe, and we kind of talked about this last week and joked that you couldn't pick. Uh, did you manage to coach Huangson at all, or did you even get to talk to Vibe? Because I know you're close to both of them. Uh, what, give us your thoughts on the matchup and maybe some in insight. You know, I think it's going to be really close, actually. Huangson has a lot of tricky builds. I think he has one particular sentry drop build that is uh, very unique, and it's something that I don't see a lot of times. I, I mean, I know TT1 did his four sentry drop for a while, but the way Huangson uses it is a lot different. So I do feel like... Uh, you know, he does have that little trick up his sleeve, but Vibe, he's just been playing all around really, really just superior in my opinion. Uh, I don't know, it's going to be tough because Vibe didn't have a great MLG run. He lost in his first two matches, and uh, obviously Huangson made it to 7th, 8th. It's going to be really close, though. I, I don't expect a 2-0, uh, and it could go either way. So you're not going to give a prediction then, Andre? No, and I didn't get a chance to to actually help out Huangson. So I'm really sad about that. But, of course, I, um, I'm not doing other things. Uh, <laughs> with, um, with all the damage and stuff, are you able to find any time to play StarCraft? Uh, sadly, no. Uh, FEMA came today, uh, and also we had probably, like, uh, our collective maybe six, six houses had garbage, just rubbish, that were completely waterlogged. Um, whether it be sofas, chairs, etc., and it probably made a mound uh, the size of—I'm not even kidding—the size of the studio. It was like insane how much um, just garbage there was. Because remember, these guys haven't had garbage pickup really either. So uh, we were out just making sure that was all in the middle of the street, so bulldozers could come and get that. So it's been really busy over here in New Jersey. I haven't had a lot of time to do anything really on on the computer. 
Well, Andre, I thought talking to you would be happy and fun, but it actually <laughs> just sounds like a lot of work. Well, and, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm catching you guys up so that you guys know what I'm doing. I don't want everybody to think that. No, I'm, uh, I'm just. Uh, You're saving the world. I know, I'm saving the world. I'm like Clutch, man. I'm like Asian <laughs> Clutch. That's what I well, uh, we, we definitely miss you, buddy. When are you going to be back? I'm going to be back Wednesday. So uh, I'll, I'll be back in California on Tuesday night, like super late. Probably. So you'll be back in time to see none of us. No. Oh my gosh! I forgot. Yeah, I'm so sad right now. We're sad too. We'll miss you, man. Just stay safe. Make sure, uh, of course, uh, to stay healthy. But the most important thing is stay, stay fierce. fierce. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. See you, Andre. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh. All right, that's Andre checking in from the East Coast. He's helping some. Uh, he's helping his family uh, get all cleaned up after Sandy.